another game season live. It is I, and I am him, Pete Simonetti, here to give you guys another episode of game season live. As we all know, yesterday's game is, I describe it as S. Yesterday's game was indeed S. And today, they better have a better game, okay? I gotta be in a good mood. Today's my son's birthday. All right? Kids getting up there in age. And we gotta get a W today. Because I don't want to be in a bad mood. Finish this game and go, no cake for me! I don't want to do that, okay? I want to have a little glassy of milk. And cake. Because nothing goes better than cake and milk. If you have cake and water, you're a sick guy. Or woman. You're a sick person if that's the case. You are sick in your mind, sick in your brain, and I don't even know if I want to know you. Milk, cake, <laughs> goes together too well, and that is the way I want to celebrate after this victory today, okay? So forget all the nonsense, forget everything else. The Yankees have been ass. We know it. We know the Yankees are ass. Josh Donaldson's bat and forth. I'm going to predict this. I'm going to predict this right now. I think Donaldson is hitting a home run today. That might sound insane to a lot of people. I'm going to go on a limb, and I'm going to say that Josh Donaldson, just because everybody saw it immediately when it happened, and they all go, how in the hell is Donaldson batting fourth? How is Josh Donaldson batting fourth? I think he's in a homer today just because of that. I, I, gotta, I got some Peronis on deck just in case because it's Saturday. I actually still did my workout today. I'm happy I did that. I really didn't want to, but I said, you know what? You got the cake tonight. You got the milk and the cake and the milk. Got to go together like Voltron. Let's get the little workout in. I'm feeling good. Derek, what is going on? Giovanni Ortiz, Anthony Medina, my brother. How you doing? How you doing? Dane Huber, my guy. Rick, my guy. Alex, what's going on, brother? El Diablo. Hey. Donaldson over four and come and says Rick V. Rick, I wouldn't uh, be shocked by that. Q, how you doing? Scott Eaton. What is going on, my guy? Camilla, what's going on? How you doing? Anthony Garcia. Bryce, what is up, fam fam? How you doing? Guys, you got to be honest with you, right? We got like 25 tickets left to the event on September 23rd. And today... As I'm doing my work, I said, let me go ahead and put on the video for the last event. And I tell you what, guys, that end of that video, when New York, New York comes on and it shows all of us together, that shit still gets me choked up, man. That gets me choked up still. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I consider myself a, a manly dude, but I tell you what, I get choked up. Warren France, what's going on, brother? I wish Warren France could come to the event on the 23rd. We got a lot of good people going, man. Almost everybody that appears on this network is coming. Bad Dog's not coming. Derek's coming. Of course, the twins are going to be there. NYYST will be there. Mario and Kevin are going to be there. Um, who am I missing? I think that's it. Felix is going to be there. And me and Felix are going to put a video out together. Uh, soon, by the way. Maybe probably before the deadline. But just about everybody is there, man. Just about everybody is there in that Audi club with us, man. It's an amazing experience. I absolutely love it. Pete, the Pirates called up the top pitching prospect. Was it uh, Quinn Priester? Prester? However the hell you say his name. Luis R., what's going on, my brother? I you don't. I you don't. I you don't. Scott Horwitt. What's up, my guy? AJ <laughs> AJ Pierzynski is going to be there. I'll be honest with you guys. We, we've actually talked or I think we've sent a couple of messages to foul territory. But at the after party, we might have one of the guys there. You know what I mean? We'll see. I need me some Brendan Donovan or Newt Bar. Those wouldn't be bad options. Those would not be bad options for the Yankees. Those would not be bad options at all. Guys, do me a favor. Smack you the like. He hit the subby. I got a goal today. You know what I told you guys yesterday? We didn't get quite there. 
We are 29 subbies, 29 subscribers away from the goal I need us to hit today, which is 17,500. That keeps us on pace. If you guys don't know, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I'm a big numbers guy. As the numbers, very, very big in as the numbers. And I got numbers every single day that I try to reach. Just a way to keep me motivated and doing what I do, how I do it, how I do it every single day. Lorenzo, my brother. How you doing? How you doing? Sunil, how you doing? Jared Miller, what's going on, brother? Evan, how you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is the son's birthday. It is the son's birthday today, folks. He's getting up there in age, man. The big 1'5". The big 1'5". Kid's a beast. Six foot jacked. He's a beast, man. He's a beast. I still whip his ass. I told him. I said, look, man. You can be big all you want. You think you big and tough? When we wrestle, what happens to you? You got to have a couple more years, kid. A couple more. He always tells me when I'm like 75, 80, he'll get me back. So that's all right. <laughs> that's okay. Get me back then. Oh, I can handle it. But here we go, guys. As you already know, Connor Seabold is on him now with a 665 ERA. Let me repeat this before I get to the first pitch. 665 ERA. Let's go ahead and get right into it. As you guys know, we got a ball game to call and we got a super chat. Thank you for being a friend. From This Is Bussin' Yard. Hey boss, just found your channel. I dig it. Regardless how bad the Yanks are right now, go Yanks for life. Hey, my, fr my, hey, my friend, let me tell you right now, I say it all the time, brother. I will go down with the ship. I call every single Yankee game. Who knows if I'll be able to talk by the time I'm 50? I don't know. But let me tell you something. I will go down with the ship. Talking, the Yankees could win 40 games next year. I'm calling every single one of them. Here's Glaber Torres. Glabass Torres, as I call him. Guys, do me a favor. Smacky that likey. Hitty that subby. Colorado Rockies, folks. Yankees need as a W. No doubt about it. <laughs> hey, balling with AC. It wouldn't shock me one bit, fam, fam. It wouldn't shock me one bit. Oh, yeah. Spank. Smack you to like you. Yeah, go ahead. Pity to subby. Yeah, yeah, of course, Spank. I know. You want to make fun of what I say. Yeah, whatever you say. The pitch to Glabass. Hit in the air to center field. Not deep. <laughs> oh, no. It is deep. Whoa, it's going to be a double. Look at me getting fooled. That's a leadoff triple for Glabas Torres. That ball traveled. Wow, I got fooled. Holy shit. I literally thought Glaber popped up. Look at this off the bat. It's a pop-up. Did anybody think that ball was going to be off the wall? I'm not joking. Did anybody think that ball was going to be off the wall? Dead serious. Or am I just a nutcase? Mike Klontz! Oh, 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 Mike, I greatly appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much for that. Look at me looking like an ass Pete, uh, Pete Sterling in effect early, folks. Pitch the G is outside. The count is 2-0. Holy Glabass. Oh, guys, by the way, question. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, question for everybody. As the 2-0 is incoming, I need you guys to help me with something. I put a new mode today. 2-0 is right there for a strike, 2-1. I put a new mode on YouTube today that should shorten the delay. So I should only be delayed by like five seconds instead of the normal 20 or 30. Let me know if it feels like I'm more on pace today with the actual game. I did make a difference. I looked into it. There is a setting on YouTube. So you guys let me know if it seems like I'm a little, you know, more ahead than I normally am. Maybe you guys could tell. I don't know. The 3-1 incoming to Stanton pitch. Fouled away. And the count is three and two. 
I don't even think Glaber knew that ball was gonna actually travel that far. Tyler Turner, thank you for the subby. <laughs> The 3 2. Hit on a ground foul. And the count remains 3 and 2. It is better. Awesome, guys. Let's go. Old Sarge, what's going on, brother? I get done. I get done. I get done. The 3 2 to Big G pitch. Hit on the ground. That's going to get a run in. And the Yankees take a 1. To nothing lead on an RBI ground out from Giancarlo Stanton. And I tell you guys this right now, I will take it. one nothing Yankees lead. I will take it all day. Triple, put the ball in play, get a run home. I will take that every day of the week to start a game. But remember, the first two batters scored in yesterday's game. And look what happened. So let's see if they can continue it. Here's the pitch the Rizzo's in there for a call strike. And the count is 0 and 1. Oh, baby, smacky that likey. Hitty the subby, folks. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you that are here with me today. Pitch is high. And the count is 1 and 1. Yankees, Kyle, I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 204 in here right now. Salute to each and every one of you as the 1-1 one, one is incoming. Outside, 2-1. 2-1 to Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo has not homered since May 20th. May 20th. Pitch is a swing and a miss. And the count is two and two on Rizzo. It takes a timeout. Sports time machine was the 69th likey. Okay, that's a good number to be. Nice little number right there. All right. Two, two to Rizzo. Hit in the air to left center field. Coming on. Dives and he makes the catch. Two away. Nothing you could do about that one. Good play by Doyle in center field. And just like that, there's two away. Nice running grab there by Doyle. Maybe you could have avoided the dive, but a better position for your body to get into to make the catch. Two away. Yeah, DJ Steele's ears just perked up for a second there. Here's shitty skunk mullet. The pitch, swing, and a miss. Oh, shit, shitty skunk. Hell of a swing he took there. My goodness, 147 on the year. What a shitty skunk. The 0-1 incoming to shitty skunk. The pitch. Swing, and the miss. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I don't mean to be laughing. I'm just laughing at the way he took those two swings there. It looked kind of kind of awkward. I don't know. Maybe he pulled something, maybe, but it looked kind of weird swinging there. He looked kind of weird swinging there. The 0 2 incoming from Seabold outside. And the count is 1 and 2. Hirsch, my brother. How you doing? Anthony. What's going on, Knicks Nation? How you doing, my friend? Thank you, everybody, for being here today. Please do me a favor and hit that likey. The one-two to JD. Hit on the ground, right to short. Feels, fires. Ah, it'll end the inning. <laughs> but indeed, the Yankees do get a run on the board as Glaber Torres with a leadoff triple that I swore was a pop-up. And I am so sorry on that one, guys. I was like, ah, oh, popped up. I started laughing at the kid. All of a sudden, the ball keeps going, 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 going. Bounces off the wall. And he's standing at third base. And I'm here holding my balls in my hand. Like, what an idiot you are, aren't you? But it's okay. I've been called worse. So I'm okay with that. All right? I'm okay with that. No embarrassments over here. No embarrassments over here, okay? No embarrassments on this end. All right, baby boy. Smacky to likey.
A side of chef. What's going on, brother? Rob Thompson, my brother. What's going on, fam fam? John Scardino. How you doing? Uh, old Sarge is Pete. Why do Marines go to sea? Old Sarge, you gotta give me the you gotta give me the answer, bro, because you know I got no clue, fam fam. Andy Montalvo. What is going on, brother? How you doing? Smack it a likey. Hitty the subby. Thank you for that, brother. Peraza can bat much better than 1 4. 100%. And look, Peraza doubled today, but the Yankees don't give a poop. The Yankees don't give a poop. The Yankees don't give a poop. Because they are seamen. So the Navy guys have someone to dance with. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one, my guy. So on the mound is Clark. Piece of Schmidt is on the mound today for the Yankees. Let's hope he has a good outing. He does have a one nothing lead. But we'll see because Carlos Rodon yesterday had problems with that breaking pitch. Now, we do know that Clark Schmidt likes to go to the cutter and slider a lot. So we'll see how that altitude, how he handles it today. Hopefully it's going to be good. Pete, would you rather have Josh Donaldson or a transgender? Give me the transgender. <laughs> give me the... <laughs> give me... <laughs> give me, the, give me the, the, the trans. All right? I'll take that all day. I think, I think they'll perform better than Donaldson, to be honest with you. Pete Mancuso Jackson, what's going on? One and one count on Jerickson profile. You guys got me not watching the game here. What's your pitch? Is inside and the count is two and one. Two and two on profile. Jerickson at two forty two on the season. <clears throat> the 2-2 inside almost hits him he says it does hit him that is not what you need and pro far looking back at Clark like yeah it did hit me bro they're saying three and two let's see this one on replay yeah that hit him because you can see the reflection off the into the glove that definitely hit him there so Jerickson pro far will be at first base that's not what you want when you got two strikes on a batter that is not what you want when you got two strikes on a batter right there, folks. Pitch is right down to Johnson. And the count is 0-1 to Chris Bryant, who homered in yesterday's ballgame against Michael King. Hit a bomb off him. The 0-1. Hit on the ground. That could be two. No, that's only going to be one. Volpe fires over the first. They got him. So Profar is in the second base. As Volpe made the right play there. Got to get the out at first. At least you get an out. He could have probably tried to turn two, but wouldn't have been a good idea. Make sure you get the out. Big thing to do there is get the out. Well, how to bring up Ryan McMahon. Pitch right down to Johnson. And the count is 0 and 1. JC, what's going on? Eli BK. What's up, fam fam? And guys, by the way, my brother Dane Huber, Rick, Yankees Farm, Jin Wook, uh, Nick, I believe, that is also working with Dane. And if I missed anybody that has helped, uh, Ruben, that has helped put this together. We have put together a list of the Yankees' top 40 prospects. It is coming out in, in segments. Today, we dropped 31 through 40. It's all fouled away, 1 and 2. NYYNewsTV.com. These guys are doing amazing work. Let me tell you guys, there's no better place to be. Every single uh, profile of the player has video attached to it. You can't find that anywhere else. We are doing that here, guys. So check it out on NYYNewsTV.com. Kevin Quinn, 
my guy, the one, two, hit on the ground softly, flips the first, two away, runner moves up the third base, two outs. Thank you for being a friend. Kevin says, I saw your video today. What happened to my Yankees? Let me tell you something, brother. None of us know. Jay Pearson, what's going on, brother? Dark Wolf, what's up, fam, fam? I get don't. I get don't. I get don't. David Cunningham, what's going on, brother? How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's Diaz, pitch inside. Want to know? One second, folks. Pitch, swing and a miss, and the count is one and one. Smacky to likey, hitty the subby. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The one one incoming to Diaz. Pitch from Clark Schmidt is outside. Almost went there, did not, and the count is now two and one. Pierce Johnson's ERA yesterday was 650, in case people still do not know. 2-1 pitches inside, and the count is three and one. Runner on third base, two away. Yankees up 1-0 on the RBI ground out by Giancarlo Stanton. On deck for the Rockies is C.J. Crone. Diaz is the batter. The 3-1 to Diaz. He walked him. So first and third, two away. And the batter will be Crone. Power from the right side coming on up. Rick, I absolutely love Augustine Ramirez, man. I love that guy. I absolutely love Augustine Ramirez. Hey, Boone, blow this. Spank! Spanky! Take it easy, my guy. If anybody doesn't know who Spanky is, he is our mascot here at NYY News TV. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, there's a balk! And coming home, the score is pro far. We got a tie game. Let's see this again. Steps on the mound. Let me see where the balk is. Yeah, that's a balk. That is a balk. They're right. You can't do that. That's a balk. They are right. That was a balk. So a horrible balk in a terrible time by Clark Schmidt. And this game is tied at one. Runner on second base now with two outs. That's not the way to give it up. That's not the way to, to, to tie this ball game, man. You got to let the team beat you, man. You can't beat yourself. Can't beat yourself in these situations. Pitches, chop foul, and the count is 0-2. Looks like I might have broken Crone's bat there. 1-1 one, one game now. That's Yankee baseball, folks. Nobody's shocked by this. Nobody is shocked by this at all. The 0-2 and coming to Crone pitch. Hey, struck him out. Terrible at bat right there by Crone. Man, oh man, he looked like he had no idea what the hell he was doing. So there is... Going to the top of the second inning, we got a tie game, 1-1. One, one. Uh, no hits. No hits at all. No hits at all for the Rockies. Hit by pitch. A ground out. A ground out. A walk. A balk. And a strikeout. And it is a tie game, 1-1. One, one. Baseball family. That's baseball fam fam. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? How you doing? What are you gonna do? How you doing? What are you gonna do? How you doing? Carlos, what's going on, brother? Andrew Kelly, my guy. Apocalypse. How you doing? 
I miss clouds being in here because I can't do my uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger clouds. It helps so much. Don't remember a Yankee season with so many mental mistakes, man. That is, that is, you know. Nelson, what's up, fam, fam? To me, uh, the mental mistakes and all that, that to me has a lot to do with leadership. I've been talking about this for a minute now. Um, the team just, just always, in my opinion, seems very unprepared to play ball. And I can only point that to the coaching staff uh, more than anybody else. They just seem unprepared. And, you know. They they make a lot of mental mistakes. They have a lot of um they have a lot of problems. Yeah, oh I know how high his ERA is. I know how high his ERA is, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Jerry, how you doing, Jerry? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, so Seabold, if anybody didn't know, his ERA is 6.69. 6.69. Okay. So let's see how the Yankees bounce back in this one. They're easily, finally able to have a blowout game. 27 subbies from today's goal, guys. We are trying to get to the 17.5 number tonight. Here's DJ LeGround out. Pitch. There's a call strike. And the count is 0-1. I believe LeMayu, I want to say he had two hits last night. I think he did. His ear is... Average is up to 224. Can't believe I'm saying DJ LeMayu's average is up to 224. The 01 is inside. Count is now 1 and 1. I can't believe I can eat. Like, talking about DJ's averages, it's just tough. Swing and a miss. My man went from a 300-plus hitter, high 200 hitter, to now a low 220 hitter. It's hard to talk about. I don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> Me either. Me either, honey. The one-two is incoming. <laughs> clouds, clouds. The one-two incoming to LeMayu. Pitch. Blooper to right field. Still traveling over everybody's head. Yo, get the ball in the air. That ball is just flying today. I can't call games in Colorado. I literally said that's a blooper to right field. The ball went all the way to the wall behind him. Spanky? There he is. Spanky's right behind me. So a leadoff double for DJ LeMay. The ball is just traveling. Get the damn ball in the air. I thought it was a blooper to right field. Sea bowls, like, get me out of this damn ballpark. Be interesting to see what his home and split his splits are at home and away. Here's Billy McKinney hitting 237. He's come back down to earth. Pitch from Sea Bowl is a call strike. Man, the count is 0 and 1. We had an Italian favorite pizza for dinner. We had pizza today, too. We had pizza today, too. Unfortunately, it's not New York pizza, but hey, yeah, you know, got to make do with what you got. The 01 to Billy McKinney pitch. High, and the count is one and one. Smacky to likey, hitty the subby. The 1-1 one, one incoming to McKinney. Pitch from Seabold. Runner on second, nobody out. Move him over at least. Fouled away. In on the hands and the count is 1-2. and two. Dennis McGuire, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy me calling games. It looks like you guys do or the majority of you do. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dennis. The one two incoming to Seabold. Pitch to McKinney. Line foul down the right field line. Hit the ball hard. Got out in front of it. One one ball game here at the top of the second. Wow. Seabold is worse on the road. How do you do that? 641 ERA. 
six ninety seven away. Holy shit, that's bad. That's bad. Timeout call by Billy McKinney. So we'll wait. Seabold at twenty five pitches on today. About to deliver number twenty six. Griminator says, listen to the John Flaherty as a play-by-play guy is tough. The one-two incoming to McKinney. Pitch. He struck him out. It's a bad out right there by Billy McKinney. And the Yankees have gone, you know, uh, all the way back to the offseason without getting an actual left fielder. Think about that, folks. So whenever Brian Cashman or Hal Steinbrenner or Aaron Boone Tells you the Yankees are a World Series caliber team. Remember, they're also saying it without us even having a left fielder. Think about that for a second. It's true. Nobody can argue that. We do not have a left fielder. Pitch is popped up. Who's going to be there? That's a base hit. What horrible defense. LeMayu will go to third base. Terrible defense by the Colorado Rockies. As that ball just dunks in, it was in the air for a long time. Bad route by the second baseman. And there's nobody there to catch it. I know it's a big outfield. but That was up there for quite some time. So it'll be first and third for the Yankees with one away. Buffer, thank you for becoming a member, brother. We appreciate you, fam. Fam. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. Camilla Simmons gifted a membership, and it goes to Giovanni Ortiz. Let's go, baby. Here's Anthony Volpe, first and third, one away. He takes it low. One and oh. Volpe at 216 on the year. Nick, what's going on, Michael? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <clears throat> the 1 0 in coming to Volpe. The pitch outside. And the count is 2 and 0. Oh. Two and O oh on Volpe. Yankees in a great position to score some runs here. The 2 0. Oh. Hit on a ground foul. Good pitch to hit. Got a hanger. Pull, gets out in front of it. Pulls it down the line. And the count is now 2-1. 1-1 one. One, one game. Yankees threatening here in the top of the second inning. First and third. You can argue very bad defense has led to this. Two one and coming to Volpe. Fouled away. Way off the plate. Goes after it anyway on an inside pitch. And the count is now two and two. Only one out for the Yankees here. They definitely have to try to get this run in. Hopefully they can. Pitch outside three and two. Thank you for being a friend. I'll get to it right after this pitch, Ally. Give me one second, my guy. Timeout call by Volpe. I get to it now. Pete, fun fact. In July, the Yankees are four and seven into tonight. And since the red hot 64 and 28 2022 start, the Yankees are 84 and 78, playing mediocre baseball in a 162 game. Span. Those are the super chats I like from you, Li. Give facts. I like facts. I like getting that stuff. Pitch. Outside, he walked them. Bases loaded for the Yankees. And their battle will be Kyle Higashioka. Oh, damage could be done, folks. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Bases juice for Higashioka. Get one in the air to right field. 
Because that ball is just traveling, baby. And they're going to have a little mound visit here with Seabold. Higgy at 236 on the season, five homers, 22 ribbies, 675 OPS. Yankees need a big inning. That's what they need. They need a nice big inning. Get some runs in, get a little comfortable. You know what I mean? Go on to a nice victory. They need a good win. They need a blowout in reality. This offense needs to score 12, 13, 14 runs. The Yankees have a chance to do some damage here in the top of the second inning. Thank you for being a friend. But pitch the Higashioka. In there for a strike. Outside corner. Good pitch. This is bussin' here. Says Volpe getting better with sliders away. Well, look, man, when you when you fix that batting stance and you're not opening up as much and as wide. You can get to the outside pitch. You could also read the pitch better. So the, the adjustment that was made should have been done months ago, but that will make it better, no doubt about it. This one fouled away. It's quickly 0-2. So Higashioka down 0-2. Now's the time to shorten that swing, put the bat on the ball, and that is it. All he has to do here is make contact. You got to be thinking contact in this situation. This is where I hope... Sean Casey kind of gets that instilled in their brain. The 0-2. Hit on the ground. Foul ball. And the count remains 0-2. Big moment of this game, folks. I'm telling you, this is a big moment. The Yankees desperately need a score when they have an opportunity. They desperately need a score. Let's go, Yankees. Tell them, Spank. Come on, Spank. Let's, Let's go, go Yankees. Yankees. Thank you, Spank, Spank. Spank, you can see? I'm happy you can see, Spank. The 0-2. Outside. Good block but right there by Diaz. And the count is 1-2. and two. Smacky to likey. Hitty the subby, folks. Smacky to likey. Hitty the subby. We're at 134 on the likes. Keep it going. Guys, again, one of the best ways you can help any YouTube channel is hitting the like button on the video. <laughs> Harsh. Hit it in the right field. That's what I needed. Go back, baby. Makes the catch. That is going to be a sack fly. And the Yankees take a 2-1 to lead. Put the ball in play. Put the ball in play, folks. That needs to be instilled in this team's mind. That is all you have to do. Make contact in run scoring situations. Anything could happen. That's the way to go about it. So here's Glaber Torres now. First and second, two outs. Pitch the Glaber. Right. And the count is 0 oh, and 1. Yeah, I don't understand how Bader didn't tag up there. I mean, that was a perfect situation to tag up. He got good speed. And that ball was hit almost at a track in right field. The 0-1 oh, incoming to Glaber pitch. Fouled away. On the ground, way out in front. And again... When it comes to Glaber Torres, put the ball in play. Shorten up here. Think right field. Put the ball in play. That's it. That is it. The 0-2 incoming to Glaber, he is actually going to take a timeout. So he'll step out the box. Seabold looking to get out of this inning with not a lot of damage done. The 0-2 incoming. Glaber has been hot throughout the first two games so far. Tripled in the first inning. Man, I'll take one right now. The 0-2 to Glaber. Pitch from Seabold. Low and outside. The count is now 1-2. and two. Out. 
Alex, I made a change on YouTube. I actually just looked into it. And I, I looked into it before, but I actually just found it today. So pitch is line. Base hit up the middle. Glaber Torres comes through again. And the Yankees take a 3-2-1 lead. Folks, 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 folks. Look at the approach. Make contact up the middle, right field. That needs to be the mindset. That's a very good at bat by Gleyber Torres. Two for two today. Here's Giancarlo Stanton pitch. Swing and the miss. Goes upstairs at 94, blows it by him. And again, that is what I'll talk about this in the um in the break, because I, I definitely want to talk about this regarding Gleyber Torres. The 0-1. Fouled away. And the count is 0-2 on Giancarlo Stanton. Wow. Look, the Yankees scored. That's more than most of the guys in this chat can say. Spank! <laughs> Spank, you filthy uh, little plastic fuck you. The 0-2 incoming pitch outside. And the count is one and two. Spank, why you got to come at the guys in the chat, man? We, uh, we all good over here, Spank. We all good over here, Spank. We all good over here, Spank. Sick and tired of hearing you, baby boy. You're talking that trash. You're plastic, baby. All right? Have your beer and be quiet. Fouled away. And the count remains one and two on Giancarlo. He's something else, guys. You know what I'm saying? That's spank for you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's excited, man. He's happy. He's a happy kid. First and third for the Yankees. Two away. Looking to add a little more. Two runs this inning so far for the Yankees. The one-two from Seabold. And in the end of right field. Going back. Oh! Stanton hits the G spot. And the Yankees take a 6-1 to one lead as Stanton hits the jack job. Oppo, baby, I'll take it. Oh, Yankees up 6-1. to one. This Ooh. is the one we needed, baby. That's the hit we needed. That is the hit we needed right there. The ball is flying to right field. Everybody knew it. Bomb shot by Stanton down the right field line. And the Yankees up by five. Pitch to Rizzo is a swing and a miss. The 0-1 incoming, line to first, right to Crone, makes the play that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the second, but guys, I want to I wanna speak on this really, really quick uh, regarding Gleyber Torres, and, and this is why, this is why Yankee fans, every really Yankee fan out there kind of has an opinion when it comes to Gleyber, because I think we all know that Glaber could be a phenomenal player. He could be a really good player. The the mental lapses, the the some of the little things he does bad, some sometimes the the big miscues in the field and big moments. He has all those, man. If Glaber Torres could just become a little more consistent, I think everybody would around across the board would really love the guy. But again, it's not like a Robinson Cano situation where every now and then he wouldn't hustle because the guy was a 300-plus hitter. I mean, he was phenomenal. 
it's a little different for Glaber. You know, he has to kind of be on his toes a little more because there's going to be criticism. You know that. There's going to be criticism. And again, it's very, very hard. Even if he has a great second half, whatever the Yankees do going forward, it's very, very hard to commit, in my opinion, multiple years to a player that hasn't shown that level of consistency. But at, but by all means, I hope he has a big second half because we need it. We need it from Glaber, no doubt about it. We definitely do. Samantha, how you doing? How you doing? Dr. Hitskins, how you doing? How you doing? Smacky the likey. Hitty the subby. Smacky the likey. Hitty the subby. Jay Stock. I'm so in the moment of being happy to see a home run. I forgot the home run dance. So I have the home run dance locked and loaded. I got to try to remember. I got to try to remember it. I'll get it locked and loaded, ready to go. And I'll break out that home run dance if we get another one today. If we get another one today, I am ready to dance. Let me tell you right now. I am ready to dance. All righty then, let's get this off the screen. Now Yankees pitching has to do their job. The Yankees offense has scored six runs in two innings, and this is what you should be doing against a team with really bad pitching. Score some runs, pad those stats. That's what you got to be doing. That's what you got to be doing. So here's Nolan Jones. The count is 1-0. The 1-0 from Schmidt is in there for a strike. The count is now 1-1. One and one. Jones takes a timeout. Yankees up by five runs. Jay Luck, what's going on, fam fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? In there for a call strike. And the count is one and two. Yeah, I think Nolan Jones is going to be very, very good. He definitely got pop, I can tell you that much. Guys, with 27 subscribers from our goal today, trying to stay on pace to hit 18K by the end of the month, might be a little tough, but I'm hopeful that we can get there. Definitely want to be at 20K before September 23rd. He struck him out, one away. Big pitch right there by Clarky Schmitties. That'll bring up Tovar. Six to one Yankees lead here at the bottom of the second. That's a nice, beautiful thing to say. I feel like I haven't said that in forever. Pitches outside, one and zero. TP Joseph, what's going on, my guy? Pitch in there. The count is now twinned up at one and one. <clears throat> the one one incoming to Tovar is outside. Two and one. Tovar at 260 on the season. Rocky seem like they got some good stuff on the offensive side of the ball, not so much on the pitching side. A two one. Hit on the ground to short. Volpe feels. Fires. Got him. Two away. Volpe with a little bobble there, but able, able to recover pretty easily. Holding his wrist. Outside, 1-0. Batter now is Castro, number eight hitter. Harold Castro. Hitting 281 of the season. Ah, oh, my brother Ra. Thank you for being a friend. Badum, badum. Hit in the air to center field. Going back, still back, still back. Off the wall. Or off his glove. I got to see the replay. Had to be a double. For Harold Castro, see what happened there with Bader. I thought that ball should have been caught. Let's see it again on the replay. The ball is any ball in the air, you got to be careful when it's traveling. Let's see what happened here. 
It's like Bader just missed it. I mean, let me see it again. Here's a slow motion. Yeah, I think it was just over his head. I think he just didn't get back there quick enough, and the ball went over his head. So runner on second base now for Doyle. And there's two away. Yeah, that ball should have been caught, no doubt. There's a call strike. Let's hope Clark Schmidt picks him up here and doesn't give a run back. The Yankees are up by five. The last thing they need is to even make this game close at this point. Take it away. C. Mitchell, what's going on? Alex, what's going on, fam? The 0-1 incoming. Outside, and the count is 1-1. One and one. 415 to dead central here, but the ball does travel. We're seeing that today. I mean, that ball is traveling. The thing the Yankees want to make sure they don't do is put runners on because, I mean, any ball in the air could be out here. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. Mr. Webster, what's going on, my guy? How you doing, fam? Thank you for being here, brother. Patty Sinclair, my guy. What up, Patty? The one, two, and coming to Doyle. Pitch. Hey! Struck him out. Adel in the inning. If you guys give me one second, I'll be right back with you. Smacky to likey. Hit it up. Subby. Oh, yeah. Smacky to likey. Hit it up. Subby. Yo, I don't want to go grab my hat. My hat's over there, so I'm going to look like a mess right now. Don't matter, though. Here's shitty skunk. Speaking of messes, outside, and the count is 1 and 0. Oh. Oh, I went upstairs for a reason. I had to get my charger. I totally forgot. What a nitwit. The 1-0 -oh and coming to good old shitty skunk mullet pitch. Call strike, and the count is 1 and 1. Oh, smacky that likey, folks. Let's get well past 300 today. You know the dealio. Augustine Ramirez, three for five today. That's my guy. Hit in the end of left field. Not deep. And the catch is made by Profar. And there's one away. That's good old shitty skunk. Good old shitty skunk, folks. Everybody's favorite shitty skunk. Spencer Jones, two for four. Thank you, Craig. Appreciate you. Augustine Ramirez is my guy. That's my guy. Pitch the DJ LeGround out from Seabold inside, one and oh. Ball is absolutely flying today, especially to right field.
Jason, definitely see it, man. Hit in the air to left center field. Going back, still back. Off the bottom of the wall, short of the wall. That'll be another double for DJ LeMayu. Two for two today with two doubles. Pad your numbers while you are playing in Colorado against pitchers with six-plus ERAs. Pad your numbers, folks. Pad your numbers. Here's Billy McKinney. One out, runner on second base. Pitch to McKinney. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 1. See, Mitchell says the Yankees are playing hard, guy. I mean, everybody, everybody take a take a take a little bit of a breather, folks. This is what they should be doing against a guy with a 690 ERA. I mean, I know we don't see it a lot, but let's let's uh let's uh dial it back a little bit, everybody. I don't like the, you know, I don't want to be the uh, Debbie Downer here at all, but let's uh let's take it easy a little bit, folks. Let's take it easy a little bit. I get it. I get it. We like seeing the Yankees score, but let's calm down. I mean, uh, take it, take a little deep breath, take a little step back for a second, okay? I mean, this is the uh, Colorado Rockies when everybody got a six plus ERA and the ball's flying here. Glaber Torres hit a pop up, but went four twenty six. I mean, come on now, take a breath, everyone. The 0-2, high and outside, and the count is one and two. See, Mitchell, I got to be the Debbie Downer today. I'm sorry, but I have to. We got to take it easy now. I can see the Yankees winning today, and everybody thinks they're going to win the East. Let's 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 calm down. Let's see this happen for a couple of weeks. Let's see them win seven of the next ten, and then I'll be happy. The one two and coming to McKinney outside, and the count is two and two. Oh, smacky to likey, hitty to subby. The 2-2 and coming to McKinney. He struck out his first at bat. Pitch from Seabold. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Two and two on Seabold. Six to one Yankees lead if you're just joining. Three-run home run by Giancarlo Stanton, a big hit. Inside, three and two. Yankees need a big offensive showing. The ball is traveling in Colorado right now. And look, again, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer here, but when you're facing a bunch of guys with six-plus ERAs, score some runs off of them. Score some more. Pitch, high and outside. He walks him. I'll take it. I'll take that walkie all day, baby. Oh, baby, walk on by. That's going to do it for Seabold, I believe. Yep, we'll have the pitching change. Seabold gets absolutely hammered. By the Yankees as he should. Oh. Oh. Back in business and with a bang. Oh, let the good times roll. A roll. A roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. 350 in here, guys. Smack you to likey. Hitty the subby. Let's show them how it's done, baby. Let's show them all how it's done. Okay, baby boy, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Where we at on those likeies, by the way, anyway, guys? 181 on the likes. Let's get to 200, guys. Let's get to that 200 mark, baby. Hollowell. 
Hollowell is going to be the pitcher now for the Rockies. Yankees with six runs on six hits. The battle will be Harrison Bader. First and second one away. Yankees looking to score some more runs. Lito. Maybe it's working already, my guy. Maybe it's working already. You don't know. No, I don't. Maybe it's working already. <clears throat> oh, the beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance is in the chat. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Again, Aaron Judge was out there taking BP. They said he hit a couple of homers. Throwing some balls to some fans. Very nice. Making a kid's day right there. God, do you love to see that. That's baseball right there for you folks. That is baseball, man. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Need more of that in baseball. More kids involved. Not in the outfield in the home run derby, though. That kid got busted right in the head, that poor kid. Let's not have seven, eight-year-olds running around the outfield when major leaguers are hitting bullets. Maybe you get, you know, a little up there, a little more up there in age. Maybe that's a little more understanding. Pitch is a call strike to Harrison Bader to count his 0-1. It's like there was a pitch clock violation. And the count, I believe it should be one and one. I think he called that a strike. One and one, yes, that is the count. Count is one and one. Yankee Kyle, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Ruben, what's up, fam? Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And like I said today, man, we are 27 subscribers away from today's goal. Well, actually, 25 subscribers away from today's goal. Pitches outside, 2-1. and one. Definitely trying to get that 25 tonight, guys. So if you can, anybody you know, share this out to them. Tell them, hey, do me a favor. Go subscribe to this guy, Pete. Whether they are a baseball fan of any team, hit them up with the, uh, with the channel. And tell them to subby, subby, subby. Popped up. Diaz will make the catch. That's not a productive out from Bader. And there's two away. So Volpe will get a chance here with first and second two outs. Trying to get those 25 subs to stay on pace. And as you guys, if some of you do not know already, on August 1st, which is deadline day, we will be live for six hours that day. And hopefully I can break some more news for you guys. That would be nice. That's the goal. The goal is to try to give it to you guys first, but I can't do anything if I don't get information. So hopefully I will. First pitch is high to Anthony Volpe. A base hit here will give the Yankees a bigger lead. They're up by five right now here in the top of the third inning. The 1-0. And in the air to center field. Ranging back is Doyle. He makes the catch. And that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Rockies. Uh, coming on up. Yes, guys, my friends at Morning Brew Sports are almost at 1,000 subbies. Yeah, see Mitchell, so I go live. Uh, I think it's, I really forgot the hours. Um, I think it ends at 6, I want to say. 4, maybe? I don't even remember. But I go live for 6 hours, and if anybody in here does not know, we broke the Bader news. Uh, actually, I broke the Bader news at like 11 o'clock in the morning. I'll be honest with you, I was kind of nervous because it didn't happen until 6, like deadline time. But my understanding was that deal was basically already done and in place, and the Yankees were trying to add another starter. They didn't do it, but they still made that deal. Uh, we also broke the Montas news. So hopefully this year we can do the same exact thing for you guys. Um, uh, whenever I And look, I, I don't send out information to ask for it. It just comes. You know what I mean? It, it just comes, so... Uh, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. And I don't put out bullshit. I don't put out clickbait. I think, you know, my record already speaks for itself. So if I get news, it'll be put out immediately. If not, it'll just be me talking and having a good time with you guys reacting to, to what's going on. 
Damn right, fam. It's always a nice little cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Gotta love, love a little cup of cough. Gotta love a little cup of cough. So we go to the bottom of the third inning. Rockies coming up. Yankees up by five runs. Yes, you heard that right. The Rockies are up. The Yankees are up by five runs. You did not, I'm not lying to you. The Yankees have scored and hit some balls today. The Yankees have scored and hit some balls today, okay? I ain't bullshitting you, I promise. Pitch is low. Count is 1-0. and oh. Top of the order for the Rockies. Jerks and Pro Far was hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. Pro Far not having a great year with the Rockies. Much better year last year with San Diego. A lot more protection in that lineup. 2-0 and oh on Pro Far. Still would have liked the Yankees to try him out. No doubt about it. I think it would have been great to have him in left field, a switch hitter. Why not? The 2-0 is fouled away. And the count is 2-1. and one. Andrew, I, I told, um, you know, me and Jira talked about that today. Me and the beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance. Uh, as the pitch is high and the count is 3-1. and one. You know, I told her, I was like, if I get that text message, Soto to the Yankees, I'd almost be scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I almost want to wait. But, um... No, man, if I get it from my main guy, I'd, I'd put it out there 100%. 100%. Never really been never been wrong before, so no doubt. I'll put it out there. Count is three and two on Pro Far. No walks. Just do not walk anybody. That is the main goal here. Do not walk anybody. The three, two. Hit in the air to right field. Going back, still back is Stanton. That's going to be a foul ball. Pulls it. And the count remains three and two. A 3-2 incoming to Pro Far. Schmidt back on the mound. Just no walks. No walks. 3-2. Hey! He struck him out. Beautiful cut fastball right there by Clark. And there's one away. Had a Cardinal fan tell me today. He goes... Hey, Pete, I see you're upset about the Yankees. You guys are in a much better place than us. I'm like, ah, yeah, I could, definitely, uh, I could definitely agree with you on that one. Unfortunately for the Yankees, they're in the best division in baseball. The Yankees' record will be leading in some divisions. Want to be right there up top. You know, the American League East is the best division in baseball. The 1-0 is right down to Johnson. And the count is 1-1 one and one on Bryant. The 1-1 incoming is also a call strike. A little Bobby Ross on that one, I tell you that much. A little Bobby Ross. Anytime you make a mistake before you get upset with it, look at, look it. at it. Just got to look at it when you make those mistakes, baby. The 1-2. Outside, 2-2. Two and two. The 1-1 two and two incoming to Pro Far. Perez Jr. says, who do you think is the first big name to get traded? You know, I'm going to go out on a limb. That's going to be a ground ball cut off by LeMayu makes the play. I think that's LeMayu at third base today, right? It is LeMayu at third base. Good play by LeMayu because if that goes to Volpe, he probably would not make that play. So two away, nobody on. I'm going to go out there and I am going to say... The first big name to go is going to be somebody from the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are kind of in this situation here where they can just start wheeling and dealing. Pitch to McMahon is a call strike, and the count is 0-1 right in the corner. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say the Cardinals. Um, 
Who that is, I think there's a possibility Newt Bar and Donovan are two of the names that could be traded. Um, I don't think Arenado goes. I'd be kind of shocked by that. I think Flaherty could definitely be traded. He's not having a great year, but I could see that. Uh, I think Bellinger is actually going to be a guy that they're going to try to hold on to. Pitches a call strike, and the count is one and two. I think Bellinger just reminds me of one of those guys that a lot of teams are going to be involved in, and, and it's kind of one of those things where it's like, we could take our time for an offer we want. And he might be one of those August 1st deals. But we'll see what happens. High and outside. Count as two and two. Yeah, I, I could see the Mets getting rid of David Robertson. At some point, they got to say, you know, we're kind of done here. Three and two. Padres are definitely in a hole. Uh, they're in an interesting spot. They are they are in a very interesting spot, no doubt about it. Uh, for me, three two is hey struck him out. Had to lend the inning, good inning right there by Clark Smith. But um, for me, I would say. When it comes, if I was the Padres, I'll be honest with you guys, man. I think I look to move Soto now. He might be the main guy I look to move. I think Soto, Snell, and Hater would be deals I would make, and I would just sell it to the fan base as, hey, look, we feel that after we trade these guys and we get players that are ready for 2024, I think we're in a better position. That's the way I would sell it to my fan base. Hey, look, I mean, we, we have just added a lot. And at the end of the day, we got Tatis. We got Manny Machado. We got all these guys that are um, ready to go. That's my thing, man. I mean, like, that's the way I would see it if I was if I was the Padres. I would trade Snell, and I would definitely trade Hater, and I would get a good amount back for those guys, and then I would make a big deal to trade Soto, and I would add as much talent as humanly possible to you know really put that put that out there. Guys, give me a second. I'm gonna jump away real quick because I really need my charger because then I can't communicate. One second, guys. All righty then. We are backy into the action. Here's Higashioka. The 0 2 is high. And the count is a 1 and 2. This one popped up. Is it going to stay in? Play, no, it will not. And the count remains one and two. <clears throat> Get my phone back on here. Hit the likey, folks. Smacky that likey, baby. Smacky that likey. The one, two. He struck him out. Big swing and a miss right there by Higgy. That'll bring up the top of the order for the Yankees, leading up with Glaber Torres. 
who is really hot coming out in the second half. First two games so far. DJ Steals, what's going on, brother? How you doing? 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 Hit the like button, guys. Let's get the 300 likes ASAP. Pitch. Call strike. And the count is 0-1 on good old Glabass Torres. The 0-1 incoming. Fouled away. And the count is 0-2. Cosmic reality. What's going on, my guy? Truth always. What's up, fam fam? Champs Gary. What's going on, everybody? Do me a favor and hit that likey. Share this video out to your friends and family, folks. Let's get to 17,500 subs. Hey! Struck him out. Two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Hollowell. And he has a kind of a funky delivery, but I tell you what, he got pretty good stuff. ERA sitting at 519. But from what I'm seeing, he got some pretty good stuff on him. <clears throat> Cubs and Yankees have dealt before as Stanton takes a call strike. He has a big three-run home run in this game. Yeah, man, uh, Cubs and Yankees have done deals. The Cardinals and Yankees have done deals. And I tell you what, the Cardinals and the Yankees match up pretty well, even on an additional deal this year. Um, I, I've said it a couple of times already. I am a big fan of Brandon Donovan. I, I hate that he doesn't really have a position. But what I would tell the kid is if the Yankees trade for him, put away the infield glove, you're playing left field the rest of the year. Just worry about the outfield and that is it. That's what I would do. T.P. Joseph says Mullins out with an injury in Baltimore sucks, but they got, what's the guy's name? Kerstead? Kerstead, I believe, in AAA, so he's probably, I think they've been planning on calling him up anyway. So they're not, they're not far away from, you know, Mullins is good, but they got so many good young players on that team. He walks them. Oh, baby, walk on by. Top of the fourth inning, Yankees up 6-1. to one. Stanton with the walk, two outs, runner on first base. That'll bring up Anthony Rizzo. <clears throat> Tatis got removed. Season is not promising. So Tatis got hurt? That would suck for the Padres. But I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not lying when I tell you. I am rooting for the Padres to lose every single damn game. I want them to make. I want them to make Soto available. I don't give a poot if the Yankees even miss. I just want them to be available so I could be mad when the Yankees miss. Or be happy when they get them. Never know. This one popped up foul. The count is 101 to Rizzo. 84 likes from 300. Guys, come on. I want to get there really quick. But I really want those 25 more subscribers. That is what I really need today. More than anything to keep us on track. We're not far off. 25 subs is right there for us. And you guys can help by hitting that like button. Get more people in here to see us. The one two incoming, the one one, excuse me, the Rizzo is outside, two and one. 94 miles an hour on a sinker from Hollowell. We could definitely use Snell, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Kyle Canterbury says he's going to the game tomorrow. That's what's up, my guy. Pitches a call strike, definitely off the plate. Rizzo didn't like the call, and he has an obvious point. That was not close. That was not close. Definitely a ball. But Hollowell gets the call. Pitch. Line. Right a play. Oh, base hit. I thought he made the catch. I can't see. Stanton gets in the third base. It'll be first and third. As Anthony Rizzo ropes a base hit the left field. Let's see what happened here. 
Day just couldn't come up with a bounce. He couldn't come up with a bounce at shortstop. I thought he actually made the play with the sun out there. The ball just disappeared. And it'll be first and third, two outs for the Yankees, looking to add a little bit more. Shitty skunk mullet. Shitty skunk mullet has an opportunity here. In there for a call strike. Count is 0-1 on good old shitty skunk. Ronnie, he don't have many legs to, to be able to even slide halfway decently. His legs are shot up. His legs are beat up. The 0-1 to shitty skunk. Inside. And the count is 1-1. One and one. Here comes our cleanup hitter. Batting 144 with a 671 OPS. Shitty skunk mullet. The 1-1. One, one. Line right to McMahon. And that'll end the inning. Aaron Boone is just simply going to say he's tearing the cover off of the ball. He's just hitting in the bad luck. We got to keep him the rest of the year. That's what Booney Bubbles is saying right now. Keep the kid the rest of the year, baby. He's too good. Seventy-one likes away from three hundred. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Smacky the likey, hit it up, subby. Radke's Rods. How you doing, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Katie. No, I am certainly not drunk. Nope, not drunk at all. Not at all. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Yankees up 6-1. to one. It'll be Diaz, Crone, and Nolan Jones coming up against Clark Schmidt, who's looking pretty damn good today. Oh, uh, let's hope they get a win under Boone's umbrella today. We do not need any losses raining down on us. That is the last thing the Yankees need to do. Josh Donaldson will be cleaning up in the Audi suites. <laughs> Come the 23rd. Well... If anybody got some Josh Donaldson merch from when he was really good, maybe you could get yourself a little, uh, get yourself a little, uh, signature there. Why not? Why not? Why not? No, that's a win for Donaldson. Hitting a hard line drive, trust me, the Yankees see that as a win. Aaron Boone sees that as I told you guys, he's turning the corner. Hit on the ground at third, Volpe feels, triple clutches, fires, got him. And there's one away. Joe says, I've made three errors already in this game. Well, you know, here's the other thing I like to tell people. Why don't you guys hop on here and do it? That's another good way to combat and see how easy it is. I respect every announcer even more now after doing this because it is tough. It's certainly a tough thing to do. That one is low. The count is 1-0 and to CJ Crone. Yankees up by five. No base runners allowed here. That's all you got to do. Throw these guys strikes. The 1 0 is fouled away. And the count is one and one. Angelo, I am doing great, my brother. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The 1 1 from Schmidt is right down to Johnson. And the count is one and two. Crone at 244 in the season, seven homers, 23 ribbies. I tell you what, his last at bat, he didn't really care too much. He just swung at anything it looked like. He just wanted to go sit down. A little better at bat here as the count is two and two. One out, nobody on. Clark Smith looking to have himself a good outing today. The Yankees need it. The 2 2. Check swing foul. We'll do the 2 2 again. My brother Dane Huber. Where's Dane at? What did Dane have? Oh, okay. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? 
The 2 2 and coming to Crone, rip to center field as a base hit. Drops in front of Harrison Bader. So a runner on, and I tell you what, man, you just got to be, be a little careful here in Colorado because a couple of those balls hit the right field got me very, very concerned. And here is Nolan Jones, who yesterday hit a mammoth home run to center field. So let's, uh, let's take it easy for a second. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy for a second because a five-run lead is not much. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying, you got to be careful. Got to be easy on this one. The pitch incoming to Jones is low. Count is one and zero. Oh. Clark Smith got to be careful with that cutter here. Do not leave anything over to plate the Jones pitch outside. And the count is two and O. Oh. This is not what you want to do right here. This is not what you want to do right here. This is definitely not what you want to do right here. You do not want to fall behind on a batter like Jones. Especially the lefties in this lineup. The 2-0. -oh. Gets a call right there because that is not a strike. Nolan Jones can't believe it. Neither can. And going at the umpire here. They might have an ejection. Nope. Not going to happen, but that is definitely not a strike. I think a Yankee had the same call last day. Maybe Rizzo. Rizzo might have had the same exact pitch way off the plate high and outside. So the 2-1 now to Jones. Fouled away. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two incoming to Jones. The pitch. Hit on the ground. That could be two. There's one. And no. Drops the ball. So Nolan Jones will reach. I don't know how to throw us from Volpe if he just dropped it or he bounced it to Clark Smith. Let's see it again. See if Yes Network's going to give us a replay here. So a good play at first base by Rizzo. A quick turn from him to second. Volpe then... He just hand just like he had just uh see he got over very quickly. I wasn't a bad throw by Volpe at all. That's that's just Clark Smith missing the ball there. Clark just missed that one. So two outs now. Runner on first base for Tovar pitch is low. One and zero. Oh. Oh, guys, I, I mean, I don't, if anybody critic, they could criticize me all day. I don't care. It's all good. This one popped up, and who's making the catch? It's going to be Rizzo. Where's the communication there? But Rizzo makes the play, and that will end the inning. We will go to the top of the fifth. Yankees up 6-1. to one. As of right now, Clark Schmidt is doing exactly what the Yankees need him to do. Yanks have LeMayu, McKinney, and Bader coming up. Yanks with seven hits in four innings. I mean, that's pretty attractive, to be honest, which six runs is very nice. But again, you know, I'm not looking to be a Debbie Downer at all. I think these next 10 games, including today, so nine games after this, are very, very important. If I believe I'm right here, but I believe it is... One more today after after this game. One more with the Rockies. I believe it is then three with the Angels. Three with the Royals. And then I want to say two against the Mets. Before the Yankees go on and play Baltimore and the Rays. So to me it is vital that the Yankees win seven of the next ten. That way they can be in serious position Come deadline day, make some additions, and pfft, go for it. Um, if that record is reversed, 
and the Yankees maybe go five and five or four and six, God forbid, three and seven. I think you got some serious decisions to make. I think you got some serious decisions to make if that is the case. You'll have some really big time decisions to make on what the Yankees are going to do. If the Yankees get sold, I'll run around naked a mile in my neighborhood. I tell you what, man. I believe if Soto becomes available, the Yankees are going to be major players for him. I, I believe that. Um, again, the only thing I've ever been told is that the Yankees are going to pursue him very strongly via free agency. But that's all I know. I, I never heard anything about a trade. But I do believe if he is announced that they are going to deal him, I think the Yankees would be very much interested. Here's Matt Coke. Here's LeMayu, two for two today with two doubles. Takes one right down to Johnson. And the count is 0 and 1. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that, man. Orioles coming from behind up 6 to 5 on the Marlins. They are playing amazing baseball. That's a hard grounder. Bobbled at short. Fields, fires, got him. And there's one away. As LeMayu hits another bullet, but right to shortstop. So LeMayu's hitting the ball hard today. That's a good sign. Dane says Rays are a big sleeper for Otani. i tell you the truth, man. I said this earlier, Dane, on I think on another video. I think the Rays and even, even the Orioles. I mean, look, if the Orioles include a guy like Grayson Rodriguez, maybe Kerstad, and maybe a couple of other guys, you might have a serious conversation. And look, if, if a team like Baltimore could just say to hell with it, we have a shot, we know we're not going to re-sign this guy, let's go for it. I mean, you got the guy in the rotation and the bat? Whew, look out, man. Be careful with Baltimore. There's another very high strike on the outside corner. And the count is one and one on McKinney. And Niner Gang, I don't even think it's about spending. I think it's more for them just saying, bring him in this year and go for it. The Rays haven't won. They've come close, but they haven't actually done it. You know, and, and I think that's a big thing for a team like the Rays to try to finally get that. Or Baltimore to go, look, we're for real for years to come. Do it as a rental. If you can do it, do it. Exactly, exactly, Dane. Not it's not a it's not a signing. It's just a pure rental, just to go for it. We'll see. I think Texas is another club that could be interesting. The one two is inside. The count is two and two on McKinney. Smack you to likey, folks. Yeah, I, I understand why teams are asking for Arius. Makes sense. Two two to McKinney. Hey, struck him out. Good slider right there. And there's two away. <clears throat> That'll bring up Harrison Bader. Bader won for two today. Timeout right there by Bader, I believe. Yeah. First pitch is outside, 1-0. Hopefully, uh, you guys like this not being as delayed. It's the first time I've ever used it today. And it seems like it's working fine. I don't think there's been any issues that I'm seeing, but it's the first time I'm using this different setting. Fouled away, count as 1-1. It shortens the delay, so typically, you guys will see my feed at about 20-25 seconds or 30 seconds. Uh, now it should be more like five to six seconds. So hopefully that fixes things, kind of put you guys on, on track with me a little better. The 1-1 one, one is inside, and the count is two and one debater, up and in. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. So thankfully we got that uh, situation situated a little bit. I know you guys have been asking me about that for a while. 
Two and two on Bader. That's another high strike call. But a home plate umpire today is, is giving a lot of strikes up in the zone. Top five, six to one Yankees. Two outs, nobody on. Two, two. Popped up. Foul. We'll do the two, two again. Well, I mean, old Sarge, look, Tampa's in it. Tampa's in it. Texas is in it. And Baltimore's in it. This one hit on the ground is short. At the inning, we go to the bottom of the fifth. But they're in it. I mean, look, if, if, I mean, Otani makes a shit ton of sense for Tampa Bay. He makes a shit ton of sense for Baltimore. He makes a shit ton of sense for Texas. I mean, these are teams that are going out there looking to win the whole damn thing. And it's only half a season. It's only the, the what, August and September. And then whatever happens in the playoffs. It also gives him a chance to really raise his stock. If I'm Otani, I want to be traded. And I would probably let that be known to ownership. Is that, hey, I've done everything I can here. We haven't won. We're not going to win this year. I want to be traded. And, you know... Just put me on a winner. Put me on a winner. Trade me to a team that is winning. Just promise me that. Let it let it be a team that is looking to win now. And for Otani, that's probably the best thing that can happen. Because let, let's say, for an example, let's say he goes to a Baltimore. Let's say he goes to a, a, a Rays. And in October, he carries them. If that value could go up anymore, it just did. You know, so I mean, if I'm him, I, I want to be traded, no doubt about it. I don't want to. I don't want to be in Anaheim anymore. Get it? Get me out of there. Get me out of there. So we'll see. And the Angels have said they will listen to offers. That is true. Mike Trout's situation is so much different than when it comes to Otani, but you know, um, Otani, whoever he signs with is is whoever he gets traded to, if he does. I don't expect to re-sign him. Now, you know, he's going to get such a massive deal. I don't I don't see something like that happening. And my only hope, again, is like I said, I really do hope the Padres trade Soto and the Yankees are able to get him. I, I absolutely love that guy. I've wanted the Yankees to get him for a while. I got videos of when he was with the Nationals of me talking the same way I'm talking now. If he's available, you give him up for anybody. It's the way I still feel. Pitch from Clark Schmidt is a call strike to Castro, the number eight hitter. It'll be eight, nine, and one for Colorado. Harold Castro, one for one today with a double. And he's up by five. Did he go? No, he did not. Count is now one and one. The one, one, low. And the count is two and one. Huge fan of Soto. I am a huge fan of Soto. Whatever they want, baby. This one fouled away. Count is now two and two. TC Steels, I agree with that. I can see the I can see the White Sox, the Cardinals. Not so much the Padres. Not so much. I think they may trade one one or two guys. Hit on the ground at second base. Torres feels fires one away. The pod the, the the Cardinals. The White Sox. I could see those two teams as being teams that will basically say, hey, we'll listen on anybody. And maybe a team like the Mets. I don't even know where they stand currently, but if they fall out of it even more, it might be a good idea to try to unload some stuff. Pitch the Doyle's a call strike right on the inside corner. A little Bobby Ross action. Happy painting. God bless. And the count is 0 and 1. The 0 1 incoming is hit in the air foul. 0 and 2. Rick says the Mets are done this year. Then if I'm them, I'm looking to deal. I am certainly looking to deal. No doubt about it. The 0-2 and coming to Doyle. Hey! Struck him out. Two away. Hey! Struck 
Knock him out! Two quick outs right there for Schmidt, having a solid game so far. One out away from five innings, one run ball. And the one run he gave up in the first inning was a balk. Pitch to Pro Far is hit, popped up a mile high. Who's going to be there? It'll be caught by Volpe. That'll end the inning. We go to the top of the sixth. Yankees coming on up. Blue Jays are going to be another team that should be very um, intrigued by the deadline. You know, I mean, look, Boston is in there. They're, they're, they've had a great 10-game stretch. You know, they're, they're kind of moving up, trying to see what they could do. It'll be interesting what uh, what teams are going to look like. And I agree with Ken Rosenthal. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but Ken Rosenthal said he believes that um, this is going to be much more active of a deadline than people even think. And I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, Moreno was set to sell as it was. Uh, kind of pulled it back. And who knows if he'll look to do that again this offseason, but we'll see. Yeah, there was a lot of decent trades last year, too. But no doubt about it, man. I think I, I agree with him. I think this is going to be a lot more active than some people think. I know some people have been saying that so many teams are involved. So, you know, maybe it won't be as crazy because there's a lot of teams competing. But I think there's some clubs that are going to really open up. And I think that's going to be the difference right there. Because let's get real here. If I'm a team like the White Sox, offers on anybody. Offers on anybody. If I'm the Cardinals, offer on anybody and I want prospects from AA to AAA that could be ready for next year. So sign me up. Sign me up. Look, if the Yankees, like I said, if the Yankees do a terrible job over the next 10 games, they have a decision to make. That one is outside to Anthony Volpe. Want to know? Volpe 0 for 2 today. Pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded by McMahon. Fires in the dirt. But the play is made at first base. And there's one away. <laughs> one out. And the batter is Kyle Higashioki. 56 likes away from 300, guys. Let's get to that 300 number. Smacky that likey. Hitty that subby. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you all. Pitch the Higgy is a foul ball. 0 and 1. Yankees up by five. Thank God Stanton hit that home run because Yankees scored in innings one and two. They've been shut out for three. So very, very thankful Stanton hit a three run home run unless this game will be a lot closer. The 0 1 is outside, and the count is 1 and 1. <clears throat> Grace, what is going on, Grace? The 1 1 is popped up to right field. I believe that is Nolan Jones out there, makes the catch, and there's two away. <laughs> Two outs, nobody on, goes at the top of the order with Glabass Torres. Two for three today is Glaber. Triple, single, two run scored. <clears throat> Pitch the Glaber. Hit on the ground softly to first base. Picks it up. That'll end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the sixth. Yankees up by five. Be right back, guys. Hit that like button and subby for me, would you, baby?
Let's say the Yankees get Soto and Otani. That ain't, you got a better you got a better chance hitting the lotto twelve days in a row than that happening. It ain't, that one ain't happening, brother. That ain't happening. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I would almost say that's not even smart. That is where I would go and say it may not be smart. Now, if the Yankees ever got like, let's say, a Soto and maybe a third baseman, if if they move Peraza or something like that, like let's say they get Soto and Candelario, I mean, I'd be very, very excited about that. I think that would be a big, big boost to the Yankees' offense. But there's no guarantee of any of that. But here is Clark Schmidt back out there. Chris Bryant takes a strike. And the count is 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Brian is inside, almost hits him. And I don't believe it did. It looked like he was going to throw the bat there for a second, but it do he doesn't. So the count is 1 and 1 on Brian. The 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Wandy Peralta starting to warm in the Yankees pen. I mean, let me see how many pitches this guy's at. This is 78 pitches. Come on, man. Up and high. And the count is two and two. I mean, Boone got to start letting starters go longer. I'm not saying he's taking the guy out already, but you got to be able to let your starters go a little bit longer. 2-2, two, two, incoming to Bryant. Pitch. Hey! Struck him out. Beautiful slider on the corner. And there's one away. Excellent pitch right there by Clark Schmidt. Perfect. Perfect pitch. So one out, nobody on here in the bottom of the sixth. And let Schmidt pitch, man. Stop stop looking to pull the guy so quick. Here's a call strike. And the count is 0-1 oh, to Ryan McMahon. 797 OPS for McMahon. Probably the biggest threat on the club, to be honest. Pitch is hit on the ground to first base. Rizzo will field it. Take it himself. And there's two away. Clark Schmidt looking very, very good. Acevedo, brother, thank you so much. I appreciate you, fam, fam. I appreciate you. Penn is active for the Rockies. Clark Schmidt, one out away from going six very good innings. And I would let him come back out for the seventh. Why is the rush to take pitchers out? I don't get it. Pitch in there right down to Johnson. And the count is 0 and 1. Smack you to likey, folks. Let's get to 300 on the likes. Can't be too far away from that. The 0-1 is outside 1 and 1. Grace, I'll be honest. I like the white and green. I like the white and green that the, the Rockies are going with. I like it. I agree with you. I like it. That is that is uh That's pretty is that's that's pretty nice. S big swing and a miss and the count is 1 and 2. <clears throat> 26 subscribers away from today's goal. We might fall short of that. But we can get there. We can get there, baby. The one-two from Clark Pitch. Hey! Struck him out. Clark Smith looking phenomenal today. Let him pitch. Let him pitch. Not go looking to pull the guy right here, man. Let him pitch. Leave him in there, baby. Leave him in there, baby. Carlos said the Yankees need a new uniform. Nah, the Yankees are good with their uniforms. Yankees are more than good with those unis. I love them. 
I love my Yankees unis. No, Yankees uniforms are boring. Stop it. Stop it. What are you guys doing in here? Yankees uniforms are boring. What are we doing over here? You can't hate on the pinstripes. Or the road grays. I love the road grays, man. I'm a huge fan of the road grays. That's my thing, man. Yeah, I mean, if the Yankees did get Otani, you got to throw Stanton in the outfield and just say, hey, man, unfortunately, if you want to play, you got to play the outfield. But I, I do not believe Otani's coming to the Yankees. That that deal right there would absolutely floor me. I would be shocked. And I can tell you guys that right now, I would be absolutely shocked. More shocked than probably any other name. I, I don't see that happening. I mean, I do think it makes sense to trade him. Look, the, you'll get a draft pick for him if you keep him, but... It makes all the sense in the world to deal them. Ask for a lot, and some team is going to give you it. I guarantee it. Some team is going to give it to them. Kerry Bartley. What is going on, fam? How you doing, man? Again, thank you guys so much for being here today. Appreciate you all. We have come a long way here at Game Season Live, guys. I mean, from last year, we did a rock. We would do a, if we did a Rockies game, we might have maybe a hundred. Maybe 97, maybe 88, maybe 120. Today we've had 300 plus the entire game. I love it. Thank you guys so much for the growth, the continued growth of NYY News TV. So Tommy Doyle in the pitch for the Rockies having a very nice year. 26 and two-third innings, 1.01 ERA. Over a K per inning. Giancarlo Stan got his 1,000th RBI today. Very nice. Pitch from Doyle. Popped up. Coming in to make the catches. Actually going out to make the catches. The second baseman one away. Yeah, the, the Yankees um, batting practice jerseys like they wear in spring training, I like those too. I would like to see like an alternate, alternate row jersey like the batting practice blues would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty nice. I'd like to see that. <clears throat> Pitch the Rizzo is a call strike and the count is 0 and 1. Anthony Rizzo 1 for 3 today. He really needs a home run, though. Our man hasn't homered in ages. I think he forgot how to do it. Outside. One and one. One, one in coming. The pitch to Rizzo. Fouled away. Good pitch to hit. Fouls it off. And the count is one and two. Bryce, that is all good news, baby. Keep losing, Padres. Keep losing, baby. We need you over here. Keep losing, Padres. We need you. The one, two. Hey, struck him out. Rizzo down swinging. He continues his tough time. Oh, mamma mia. And there's two away. Yeah, man, let the Padres keep losing. I'm all for it. I am all for the Padres losing every damn game possible. They could lose every game if all I care. <laughs> keep losing. Keep losing, Padres. <clears throat> Where am I at here? Pitch is low, 1 and 0. Oh. The 1 0 incoming is low, 2 0. <clears throat> 2 
Two and one on shitty skunk mullet. Pitch hit on the ground a short. Fields fires. Got him. I don't know if Donaldson looks like he might have hurt himself. He's been doing that a lot lately. Maybe he's just trying to act like, you know, what the hell happened? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? How you doing? How you doing? What are you going to do? How you doing? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, Perry. I saw that already. <laughs> I saw that already, Perry. Kerry's excited. He goes, get him out of here. I hope he's hurt. Yankees probably wouldn't even call up uh, Peraza if that's the case. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, we are here in the bottom of the seventh. You know what we got to do? Oh, yeah, folks. At NYY News TV, we honor veterans over here. I don't know if Melinda is in the chat, but today we are honoring Melinda's uncle. Her uncle, Robert, was in the army. I don't think she has much info on this, but a lot of her family members were in the army. So, Melinda, thank you so much. And we celebrate your uncles, actually, David and Robert. David was in the Navy. Robert was in the army. That is Robert on screen. So, Melinda, we thank your family for their service. Thank you so much, Melinda. God bless our troops, baby. Sorry, guys. I had to add my brave in there. First pitch is a swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 1. Guys, by the way, if anybody here wants to honor a veteran they know outside 101, do me a favor and send us an email, nyynewstv at yahoo.com, with a story, a picture if possible, and yeah, whatever you want us to, to discuss, but we are trying to honor a veteran all month. We are actually running out, to be honest with you. Um, I might have a couple of more days and that might be it. So um, if anybody out there, as a veteran, they want to honor, nyynewstv at yahoo.com. The one two is outside and the count is two and two. We're looking to do it for every game of July. So we got a couple of more ball games to go. Got a couple of more games to go. Clark Schmidt back out for the seventh inning. I'm very happy Aaron Boone is doing this. Let him get his game in. The 2-2 two -two is outside. And the count is 3-2. and two. Just missed the corner. Didn't miss by much. Clark's ERA is now down to 4.21 as of this moment. And by the way, guys, Josh Donaldson. Oh, no. Josh Donaldson's still in the game. Oswaldo Cabrera. Is taking over in right field. This one crushed the center field. That's out of here. So a jack job to center field by CJ Crone. And it's a six to two ball game. Yankees up by four. And here comes Boone. And here comes Booney. So one home run is all Boone has to see. Even though Clark Schmidt was absolutely fantastic for six innings. Six innings, two runs. He'll go to Wandy. And it's a bullpen game. All he got to do, Boone. Any reason to take a guy out, take him out. The guy gets a hard on for taking pitchers out. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. 
We got over 340 in here, guys. Let's get to that 300 sub. Excuse me, 300 sub. 300 like. 300 like. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> really, Spank? <laughs> Spank, really? Spanky, what do you think about, uh, you think this move's gonna work out? No, 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 no. Ah, have a little faith there, little plastic man. Have a little faith. Have a little faith, you little fuckhead, you. Oh, that Spank is a man of little faith, let me tell you. 25 likes away from 300, guys. Let's get there. So, nobody out. In the bottom of the seventh inning, it is a four-run Yankee lead. Let's hope. Let's hope. Everything is going to be fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Spank, no, she's not talking about you, Spank. Oh, Jira, Jira, MVP, MVP, yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> spank, really, Spank? Come on. We got a ball game to call. Here you go, look, have the rest of the beer. Put it next to you. There you go, Spank, enjoy. Enjoy your little shit. Enjoy yourself, all right? Right away, you want to have big problems. But there's Josh Donaldson, as you guys see him limping around like crazy. The uh, Yankees might have Donaldson on the IL pretty soon. Let's see what they're doing here. And there he goes, going down to the tunnel. So I guess we'll see by the next time he bats if Donaldson's going to stay in the game. He may not. Spank's a young kid. Nobody say nothing. He's having a little sippy, all right? What are you guys going to do? Hey, guys, I do that. Pitch is a call strike, and the count is 0 and 1. So here's Nolan Jones, who's 0 for 2 today. It's a four run ball game, folks. Like I said before, what happened there? Oh, so Wandy Peralta did a quick pitch there. That's not allowed. So I don't believe, I think the count will remain 0-1. He didn't even basically let the batter get in the box. The 0-1 incoming to Nolan Jones. Pitch from Wandy, who hasn't been great as of late inside. But I'd tell you guys this right now, man. The Yankees are so friggin' lucky that Giancarlo Stanton hit that three-run home run. If not, this is a nail-biting game at the moment. And right now, it's only four runs. Pitch is hit on the ground, off the glove of Wandy. Volpe there, fires, got him. And there's one away. Big first out right there for Peralta. But ever since... The second inning, the Yankees do not have a run scored. And I don't know how many hits they got, but it's not a lot. So here's Tovar. Pitch. Inside 1-0. Tovar 0 for 2 today with a ground out and a fly out. 17 likes from 300. Come on, guys. Let's get there, baby. Let's get there. Smacky that likey. Hitty that subby. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One one. But let's, I mean, let's just hope the bullpen does his job today. Let's hope the pen does his job. The 1-1 one, one to Tovar pitch. Line, base hit. That's going to go to the gap. That'll be extra bases for Tovar. That's a one-out double. That'll bring up Castro. So runner on second base, one away. It's a four-run game. Got to be careful in this ballpark, man. It's almost getting close to the top of the order again. <clears throat> Pinch hitter will come up for Castro as the batter is going to be Alan Trejo. So Trejo comes up, the right hander will face the lefty Wandy. Pitch inside 1 0. Yankees going to bring up Lamb for Donaldson. I wouldn't be shocked by that. The 1 0. Inside 2 and 0. Oh. 
Here we go. Here we go. 2-0 on Trejo. The 2-0 helps Wandy out there as he swings at a likely ball three. And the count is two and one. I agree with Hirsch on that one. Lamb Chop would be better than Donaldson. No doubt about it. Lamb Chop would be a lot... <laughs> would be a lot better than Donaldson, okay? The 2-1 incoming to Trejo. Hit on the ground. That is a fair ball. Foul ball. Foul ball. My bad. That is a foul ball. Didn't get a chance to see the umpire's reaction. Good job by the ball boy getting that uh, ball for the little girl there. Let's see how much this one missed by. Ooh, that just missed. He just missed that double. Very lucky there for the Yankees. Very lucky. 2-2. Two -two. Line to short right there as Volpe is back at second base. Good heads up baseball there by Volpe and Torres trying to get the double play. Two away runner on second. And the batter is going to be Doyle. Here's Doyle. Pitch from Peralta's outside, 1 0. Yankees up by four runs. Bottom seven. No big hits. Don't put people on base. Just go after them here. Runner on second base don't mean nothing. Swing and a miss. And the count is 1 and 1. 14 likes from 300. Come on, baby. The 1-1, one, one, low. And the count is a 2 and 1. Rick says the Brewers are looking to add, as they should. As they should, no doubt about it. 2-1. Swing and a miss, way outside. So Wandy gets himself a gift right there. As Doyle chases a pitch that he misses by about 6 feet. And the count is two and two. Come on, baby. Hey! Struck him out. Inning over. Wandy sits his ass down. And we go to the top of the eighth. Yankees up by four. Yankees up by four. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What's going on, Spankamaniacs? If you're a Spankamaniac, drop it in the chat, dude. Oh, Spank with the dude. Drop those Spankies in the chat, baby, because Spanky loves you. <laughs> oh, Spank, look. Come here, come here, you little fuck. Yeah, whoa. Come here, Spank. Look at that handsome, handsome son of a bitch, Spank. I gotta tell you. You're looking good, Spank. You're a handsome motherfucker. I know, bro. I know, Spank, Spank. I know. I know you're a good-looking guy, man. I know. I get it. 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 You're a good guy, Spank, Spank. You're a good Let's guy. Let's go, Yankees. All right, Spank. Come on. Spank, Let's go, Spank, Yankees. Spank, 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 Spank. All right, we get it. I'll give you a little shine. And you want to take over the ball game. It don't work that way, Spank. It don't work that way. Spanky does have a fan club, no doubt about it. Mike Bragg. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? That vitamin P makes Spank look younger. What are the fee? Ah, oh, there she is right away making fun of Spanky. <laughs> I sense a little bit of jealousy, but you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be the one to say it. I don't want to be the one to talk about that. I feel there's a slight bit of jealousy. there. I think there's a slight bit of jealousy. That's all I'm going to say. Yankees are 40 and 11 when scoring four plus runs this season. Well, yeah, that's been the issue. We understand that when the Yankees score, they win games. Problem is they don't score <laughs> as the pitch is low. 
To DJ LeMay, you having himself a good game. Two for three, but it's really hit the ball hard every time up. Even his out was a hard line of the short. 1-0 on LeMay. You, the 1-0 is low. 2-0. It'll be a good idea here for the Yankees to score a couple of more runs. Add some insurance. Add some star insurance. <laughs> Yankees making money. The 2-0 to LeMayu is right down to Johnson. And the count is 2-1. and one. Two one is low, three and one. Three and one in there for a strike. Three and two. Lemayu didn't like the call. Takes a long walk around. He better hurry up before they yell at him about uh not being in the box. I think that's definitely a strike, though. That's at maybe a little borderline, but it's there. Three and two, and coming to LeMayu. The three, two. Line, base hit the right field. That's the DJ LeMayu that we love. And this one gets knocked away. LeMayu going two. He's in there. So the ball gets bobbled out in right field by Nolan Jones. And LeMayu with the bobble gets into second base. That'll be a hit and an error. But that right there is the DJ LeMayu we know and love. Hard line drives to right field. So it makes him such a good hitter. He hits the ball anywhere. And we haven't seen that all year. Running good too. Running good. It's a good sign. So another hit for DJ LeMay. He got a three hit night. He's hitting 232 now on the season. Here's Billy McKinney. Pitches outside. McKinney 0 for 2 today, down to 244 on his season. Let me tell you something. If DJ LeMay was guaranteed to be waking up, that, that alone is a major, major step in the right direction for the Yankees. That would be huge. One and one on McKinney. The one one low, two and one. Hit the like button, folks. Let's get to over 300. The 2 1 incoming to McKinney pitch outside. And the count is 3 and 1. So Doyle, who's had a very, very good year, is in some trouble here in the top of the eighth. Brad, what's going on, Brad? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Ivan Torres. What's up, my guy? 3 1. Hit on a ground foul. And the count is full. Three and two. Andres Cruz says Volpe to triple A. I don't know why. I don't know why you'll be sending Volpe to triple A for. Count is full on Billy McKinney. Yankees up by four runs looking to add to their lead. Alex throwing the chicken tendies in there. Oh, man, some nice chicken tendies. Who doesn't love chicken tendies, let me tell you? Who doesn't love chicken tendies? Hit on the ground. That is a foul ball. And we'll do the 3-2 yet again. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, Volpe's not going down. I don't see that happening. I, I don't see that happening at all. I'd see Volpe probably getting traded before he gets before he gets uh sent down. 
I don't even think that's going to happen, to be honest. Tendies in a bucket, baby. Nothing like them tendies in a bucket. The 3-2. Hey! He struck him out. And there's one away. That's a big out right there. If you're McKinney, you just want to at least get the runner over. That's a big swing on a 3-2. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that at all, man. You want to you wanna get these batters out. So runner on second base, one away. Here's Harrison Bader. Pitches low, 1-0. Yankees up by four runs. The lefty, Abad, is warming up for Colorado. Tendies with a little barbecue sauce. This one hit in the air to left field, not deep. Coming in to make the catch is pro far. And just like that, there's two away. Pro far thought there was three. <laughs> two outs. Lead off double or lead off single, but runner on second base. Looks like uh, not much might happen unless Volpe comes through here. Volpe 0 for 2 on a day with a walk and a run scored. Average down to 212. Look, McKinney's a, McKinney's a journeyman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Johnny Riv, what's up, man? How you doing, Johnny? Pitch to Volpe is right down to Johnson. And the count is 0 and 1. It'll be big to see Volpe get a hit right now. Give the Yankees a little more runs. Add to that four-run lead. Outside, 1-1. One one. Runner on second base, two away. Top of the eighth. Yankees up by four. They have not scored since the second inning. They can do for a run here. Pitch. Hit on the ground to McMahon. Feels. Fires. Got him. Horrible camera angle. By the Yes Network. Got no idea what the hell's going on. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Colorado coming on up. Good, perfect. I'm good to go. <clears throat> Chris Perez Jr., what's going on, brother? Hey, Chris Perez, man, I cannot wait to see you on the 23rd again. Chris Perez, you came to our very first event, and our events are have blossomed into just an amazing gathering of our community. And again, guys, if um, anybody's still on the fence about our event on September 23rd, let me tell you right now, do not be. Get your tickets. Audi Club, we also get to see... What's what's been a very good team this year, the Arizona Diamondbacks. But I tell you guys what, man, those events are more about our community, and we just have an amazing time together. Great food, by the way, five star dining. We ain't talking about ballpark food here. We're talking about steak, lamb, a haveel, pasta, chicken, whatever you want. I mean, they throw it down in the Audi Club. Uh, like I said before, I told you guys the entire, basically almost everybody. I want to say, I'm trying to think. I think everybody from NYY News TV that's even appeared on our shows, on our network, is going to be there besides Bad Dog. I think Bad Dog's the only person that is not going to be there because NYYST will be there. The twins are going to be there. Uh, Derek is going to be there. Um, Mario and Kevin are going to be there. I'm going to be there. Felix is going to be there. And I think I think that's basically everybody. I think everybody's going to be there. We got people coming from Texas, Florida, California, uh, Virginia, Connecticut. So doesn't matter where you are, guys. You can show up. No, Adam King is not going to be there. No. No, not at all. Not at all. I would suplex that man through a table. <laughs> Just... Tommy Canely in the pitch for the Yankees. He has been absolutely phenomenal. 
Zero ERA in 15 and one-third innings. Let's keep that going, baby. Hirsch is going to be there. Medina is going to be there. Superstars of the chat. DJ Steels. We got 310 likes. Thank you, guys. Keep hitting that like button, though. Helps us grow. Daryl will be there. Alex will be there. Looks like we got a fan on the field. Oh, it's going to be a star-studded group. That is there, guys. It's going to be amazing. Desiree Conrad says, who's coming from Florida? Um, My guy, Don Sicario is coming from Florida. Yep, California and South Carolina. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah, Desiree, are you coming? Are you coming to the event? Got to be coming to the event, man. We got to meet everybody. I can't wait to meet everybody, man. It's going to be amazing. Hey, Insight, you're not telling us anything new. <laughs> I think the majority of us kind of feel the same way. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't think you're going to get anybody angry here by saying that. I don't think you're getting anybody too angry right there, okay? Not anybody too upset about that one. So here's the pitch from Tommy Canely. It is low, 1-0. Guys, after this, it's birthday cake time. And like I said, it's birthday cake for my son. It's his birthday today. Let me tell you guys this right now. Let me tell you guys this. You can only drink milk with birthday cake. I can't stand anybody who drinks water with birthday cake. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah, Alex is coming from Florida, my guy. Two and one is the count on Pro Forest on the top of the order for the Rockies. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The 2-1 is fouled away. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it, man. Yes. Milk or coffee is it. That is it. Milk or coffee. That is it. You can't do anything else. Jack Harrington came from Bad Dog Stream. I appreciate that, brother. Fair ball down the right field line for Profar. That'll be a leadoff double. As Cabrera picks it up, fires it in. I still think Jerks and Profar would have been so much better for the Yankees, but they didn't make that move. Camilla, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cosmic Reality. The event is the 23rd, September 23rd. We invade the Audi Club. It is our second event this year. We also have an after party. But um, the Audi Club event, guys, it is like nothing else. I'm telling you right now, you guys, only way you'll understand what any of us here are saying is when you're actually there and you see the community. It's amazing. It's amazing. I can't explain. I can't put it into words. Pitch to Brian is low and the count is 1 and 0. Oh. <clears throat> I believe next inning we'll see if Josh Donaldson is staying in the game. I think, who made the last out for the Yanks? Volpe did, I believe. Or Bader, one of those guys. So maybe we won't see him. But as of right now, he is still listed as a DH. The 1-0 is, it gets away. And Pro 4 will go into third base with nobody out. Four-run game, folks. The Rockies have done their job by holding... The Yankees to those six runs ever since the second inning. And now the Rockies are trying to mount a bit of a comeback. 2-0 and on Chris Bryant and a runner on third. Nobody out. This game could get very interesting. This could get very interesting, folks. Yes, it can. This game could get very, very interesting. Thank you guys so much for all the likes today. I greatly appreciate you guys. This game could change in a hurry. No doubt about it. I drink San Pellegrino with my birthday cake. 
Griminator, that's tough, man. I'm a huge fan of San Pellegrino, but with the cake, I don't know. I can't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, fan. But I am a big fan of San Pellegrino. Pitch outside. What I actually do with my San, uh, my Pellegrino is I put a little bit of of like flavored aloe vera in it, like pure aloe vera. <laughs> Mod on. Let me tell you right there what it does. Whew, you got yourself a drink right there. Delicious. Delicious. The 3 0 is gets away. I think that was called a ball. And he walks him. So, first and third, two out, no outs. This is getting nerve wracking here. Thank you for being a friend. Alex, my brother, says Pete seems like Higgy won the catcher job over Trevino. He's played more, he has been playing more. And I think at the end of the day, the Yankees just know they need a little bit of production right now. They just need a little bit of production right now. All right. Here's Ryan McMahon, who is definitely a power threat. Guys, it is first and third. Nobody out. We got a situation here in Coors Field. Here's the pitch to McMahon. Pitch. And on the ground, that could be two. Here's one. There's a double play. <laughs> Huge DP action for the Yankees. I'll take the two outs and give the run up. Six to three game, but that is huge. And I tell you what, if I am, if I am a Rockies fan, I am pissed the fuck off right now. You cannot do that right there. You cannot do that in that situation. Is to have runners on like that. First and third. Nobody out. You're working Tommy Canely. And you swing at the first pitch and ground it to a double play. You cannot have that happen. So here's Diaz. Nobody on base. Two outs. The Yankees will gladly give that run up. They're up by three right now at the bottom of the eighth. The 1 0 to Diaz. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Hit the likey, folks. Smacky the likey. Hitty the subby. The one one. Outside, two and one. We are 24 subscribers away from 17,500. This year's goal was Mission 20K, folks. I really want to get it by September 23rd. That is my goal. The 2-1 is fouled away. And the count is 2-2 two and two on Diaz. Yankees now up by three runs. They have not scored since the second inning. And I tell you what. Thank the baseball gods that Stanton hit a home run. Because without that three-run jack job, who the hell knows where this ball game would be? That's why I told everybody, take it a little easy on how quick we're getting hype. Take it a little easy, that's all. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Down. I'm trying to be, re you know, a little reality-driven here. Pitch, line to short. Volpe with a great play. Holy shit, the kid got jumps. Volpe looking like Super Mario right there with the jump jump. Oh, mamma mia. Hell of a play by Anthony Volpe. A little bit of hops on him. He's about five foot eight. A little bit of hops. He got them hops on him. Why not? A little bit of hops on him. I wish I had the Mario Brothers. Boing. The little jump noise. That would have been pretty classic right there. Holy cannoli. They got cannolis in the Audi Club. Yeah. They got the cannolis in the Audi Club. Let me tell you right now. I tell you what I'm mad at. When I go in the Audi Club, you guys are going to see, right? I'm talking with everybody. So I'm taking pictures. I'm talking with everybody. I'm having a good time. I told the fiance, it might have been like 
I don't know, sixth inning, maybe something like that. I was like, we didn't even get dessert. So I'm like, let me go check the dessert real quick. <laughs> dessert gone. These cats tore that dessert up like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. There was mad cannolis. There was cookies. There was everything you could think of. Everything was out of there. Hey, struck out the cannolis. They were all gone. Cannoli versus rainbow cookie. Ooh. A good cannoli is hard to beat. But a rainbow cookie is always so damn good. You know? Cup of coffee. What's on my plate? Gotta be a cannoli. Gotta be a gotta be a cannoli. Um, do they have milk in the Audi Club? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably got milk. They probably got milk there. But I if if I have a plate in front of me. And I have a cup of coffee. I just vision a cannoli sitting in front of me. More than my rainbow cookie, which I'm absolutely in love with, by the way. I'm absolutely in love with the rainbow cookie. But I got to go that route. Tomorrow's starter, Garrett Cole versus Chase Anderson, who also, also has like a 70 ERA. Right. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying, guys. We should be winning. We should have swept this series pretty easily. Joe says cannolis are made with regot. Joe, who you think you're talking to here, Joe? You don't think I know that, Joe? Come on, what are you kidding me now? What are you breaking my balls today? That one is out. It's a call strike. I thought it was a ball. So nine, one, and two coming up for the Yankees. Here's Higashioka. Grace, you are missing out on a big part of life. And the count is one and one. Jigaman Porter, what's good, fam, fam? How you don't? How you don't? The 1-1 one, one incoming to Higgy pitch. Foul the way. Is that new? Is anybody noticing that from Higashioka? He has his hands higher, and then he drops them before the pitch. I don't remember him doing that often. I don't remember him doing that often. Anybody else noting that, noticing that from Higgy? Cannoli versus Taramasu. I love Taramasu also. Cannoli all day. Cannoli all day. The one-two incoming pitch. Popped up. And Crone will make the catch. There's one away. Oh, I'll be going to the after party. I'm going to the after party, Jigga. I will definitely be at the after party. No doubt about it. We got an after party too, guys. I already mentioned it before. After party from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. The same day of the event. Sucker Punch Sports Bar. What an overall day it is going to be. I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait. Pitch to Glabass is a call strike. Glaber two for four today with a triple, a single, two runs scored, and a ribby. Grace, you are missing out on a, an amazing part of life, which is the rainbow cookie. You know, the fiance gets mad at me because she goes, oh, it's not a cookie. It's not a cookie. I look at her and I say, stop it. It's a cookie. Okay. Oh, no, it's a cake. It's not a cake. It's a cookie. Don't you ever disgrace the rainbow cookie that way. And it's amazing. And it's the best. Pitches hit on the ground is short. Feels, fires two away. Greatest cookie of all time. Greatest cookie that ever lived. The black and white cookie is also phenomenal, but it depends on where you get it because a lot of people do the black and white cookie very wrong. Rick, there's no way, Rick, you're you're an Italian. You know what the black, you what the rainbow cookie is, Rick. Come on now, you're killing me here. There's no way Rick doesn't notice. He's just pulling our chains here is what he's doing. There's no way. There's no way Rick doesn't know that. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-1. 100% of cookie. 100% of cookie. Rick is just busting balls. He gotta know. Pitch is a call strike. He lives in Florida. They gotta have some Italian bakeries around there somewhere. 
Got to have Italian bakeries. 0-2 on Oswaldo Cabrera. Boone is over there bitching. Hey, be happy your team has scored some runs today, asshole. Joe Gian Marino, my brother. What's going on, fam fam? How you doing? Fouled away. And the count is 0-2 on Oswaldo Cabrera. Two outs, nobody on. Hank. What's going on, Hank? How you doing, fam fam? How you doing? How you doing? Nah, Carrie, man. Why are you going to buy cookies at Target? <laughs> Cookies at Target. That's inside the count as one and two. Hey, Niner gang, I don't know how they did it, but however they did it, it is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal, no doubt about it. Victor LeBron, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Pitch to Waldo. Hey, struck him out. God, has he been a letdown this year? What a letdown Cabrera's been this year. My goodness. Bottom of the ninth coming up. Yankees looking to finish this one off. My assumption is we will see Clay Holmes come in to get the save. Angelo Siciliano, no doubt about it. That is the way to go, man. Any, any good bakery you find. Oh, my God, the Mets. <laughs> if you guys follow MLB on Fox, there was just a pop-out, a pop-up. Bases loaded in the Mets, no, second and third in the Mets game. A pop-up in the infield. I think that's Beatty. He misses it, dives for a pop-up in the infield. The ball smacks him on the forehead and goes rolling away. And the Dodgers score. Man, the Mets are an absolute shit show right now. My goodness. The Mets are an absolute shit show. Wow, what a shit show the Mets are right now. My goodness. That is absolutely pathetic. Damn. Sounds like the Mets, right, Medina? 100%. Mets all day. Oh, my God. Grace, don't even talk. The beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance is going um, in early August. Man. We talk about it a lot, man. Me and her, me and her want to go on vacation to DR so bad, but we got to get the company. We got to get the company up and running, guys. There, there's so much story to tell. I can't wait to be able to tell the entire story to you guys. But uh, eventually, we will get to do that. It's gonna be fun. But we got uh got business first, man. Business comes first. Now here's Clay Holmes looking to finish this baby off. Joe, I really wish, I really wish they can trade him. I, I wish they could trade Aaron Boone. That would be nice. Here's CJ Crone, two for three today, having a good day. Colorado down by three, so you know the deal. Don't let anybody on base, no walks, no nothing. Pitches outside, want to know. Yeah, Frank the Tank must be having a real tough time right now. <laughs> He must be having a hell of a tough time right now, let me tell you. The 1-0 to Crone is hitting the end of center field. Right there is Bader, and there's one away. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, Boone for Bruce Bochy? I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. Timeout is called from Nolan Jones. So nobody on base went away. 
Yankees two outs away from winning this ball game, and it's one they should be winning. They haven't scored since the second inning, but they scored enough. That's all that counts. That's all that counts. 1-0 on Jones. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Oh, Universal Studios, man. Medina. The mummy ride. The mummy ride is phenomenal. And then Islands of Adventure. Every damn ride is amazing. But the mummy, but Orlando, you got, I think the best rides there. I want to say Escape from Gringotts is there. I think it is. Escape from Gringotts and the mummy ride is phenomenal. Transformers ride, eh, not so good. But those other two are the best. And then when you got um, everything in Islands of Adventure to me is amazing. Everything over there is great. The 2-1 and coming to Jones is inside. And the count is 3-1. and one. No walks. Velocicoaster is phenomenal. I think the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Is Bochi a Hall of Famer? If he ever won one more, he's guaranteed. But I still think he might be. Bush Gardens has good roller coasters. I agree. It does. At least the one here, too. Pitch is hit on the ground right back to Holmes. Two away. <laughs> Yankees one out away from wrapping this game up. Three fifty. How many likes we got? I'm seeing we got 352 in here right now. We are at... 332 on the likes. Smack the like if you have not yet, folks. Yankees looking to wrap this game up. Get a W. Pitches inside 1-0. And, and Universal uh, Universal Studios is opening up a third land in 2025. Epic Universe. They're going to have a whole land theme to the Universal Monsters. You know, I'm hype about that. I love me to Universal Monsters. Frankenstein. Dracula, Wolfman, the Invisible Man. I can't wait for that. David! You're the best around. Going to ever keep you down. You're the best. That's going to be a base hit to left field for Tovar. You can see why this guy looks like he's going to be a good player. Ball is absolutely smacked. So Tovar will not be the last out. That'll bring up Trejo. Yeah, Super Mario. It's all going to be Epic Universe. So it opens in 2025. Super Mario Land. Uh, they got a How to Train Your Dragon place. They got the uh, uh, Universal Monsters. I cannot wait for that, man. I cannot wait for that. I got a special goal to be able to take my family there come 2025. That That is my special goal I have. After the Yankee season, so hopefully, hopefully that will come true. Pitch is hit on the ground. That's gonna do it. Glaber there at Sea Game. <laughs> Yankees get the W, and you know the deal, folks. Start spreading the news. Well, it's a big win for the Yankees today. Get them right back on track. The Yankees score six runs in the first two innings. They do not score since then. But, hey, man, it's uh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Rod Thompson with the Super Chest says, I'm sorry, Pete. The Avatar ride at Animal Kingdom is by far the best ride you will ever go on. I've heard that a lot. I have not been there. I'll tell you what, though, man. I don't know how you could beat Universal Studios. Uh, that Velocicoaster is just stupid. It's one of the most insane rides in the world. Now, there is a ride I want to try. And I haven't did it yet either is the uh, Tower of Terror because I'm a huge Twilight Zone fan. And I don't like drop towers, but I would do that one just because it is the Twilight Zone. But anyway, guys, absolutely great game season live today. Yankees pick up the W. The win does go to Clark Schmidt. He goes to 5-6 and six on the season, 4.31 ERA. Loss goes to Seabold. And the save goes to Clay Holmes, number 11 on the season. His ERA now down to 2.17. And with that being said, guys, I am going to wrap it up here. We're going to go ahead and have... No, I will never try to slingshot ever. You will never see me on the slingshot. That will never happen. That will never friggin' happen. Not ever in my lifetime. 
Will you see me on that nonsense? But guys, we are going to go celebrate uh, my son's 15th birthday. We're going to have some cake. You know I'm going to have the little milk, all right? Because that's the only way to do it, baby. But until next time, guys, you are the best. Don't let anybody tell you any different. This is the greatest community in the planet, baby. And it's only growing every day. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, I will see you all later. Peace, baby.